I'm going to be showing you how you can get these eyes. I'll be using footage from my live stream that I did a couple days ago. So you're going to be heading to the ruins and talking to Evangelina and then tap on high place and then grab the quest. And then you're going to tap on go to high place and talk to Darkseid. And then you're going to be fighting the big giant hobgoblin. Now, this is not a 100% drop, but I was able to get it in my first kill. Turn in that quest, head back to Darkseid. Next, we're going for the large gem. For this one, you're going to be fighting Audrey. All of these gems are RNG based. It didn't take me too long to get this one. Turn that one in and go back to Darkseid. Next, you're going after the gem of the Archfiend. And for this, you're going to be going into the Kistostrophe challenge, which is Dara's Dilemma. This is a tricky fight, might take you a while to finally get the gem. But once you got it, turn in the quest and go talk to Darkseid. Now you're heading for the Blood Gem. You're going to talk to Evangeline and you're going to be running the Thorax challenge. And this is called the Celadine Ruins. Once you got it, turn it in and go back to Darkseid. Now we're going for the blood gem of the Archfiend. You're looking for Angelisa. She's located at the beginning of Celadon Forest. And you talk to her and go into a surprise. Once in this map, you're going to be taking on the Fiend Hunter. And this can take quite a while to get this thing. Now he does respawn. So after you've killed him, don't leave this area. This is not a dungeon. This is just a five person instance i think it's a five person instance or maybe more but anyways he responds so you can just keep going after him repeatedly until you finally get your blood gem once you finally get it turn it in and head back to darkseid at this point you're looking for some diamond shards talk to seraphis in the lake and you're going to be running the hydra challenge to make this easier on yourself, you do not need to take down the lake serpents. You just need to focus on the hydras and this will finish the dungeon so you can just jump right back into it. Made it much faster this way. Once I finally got the first shard, it was really easy getting the other two shards. Once you've got them all, turn in the quest and talk to Darkseid. At this point, you're going for the Diamond of the Arch Fiend. You're going to be doing the Kragen Zool Challenge. Darkseid has a quick travel to it, but you can also find it in the monastery. This challenge is actually really easy when you know what you're doing. So you fight the boss and once the boss gets to certain percentages, he's going to be spawning certain mobs. The first mob is the corpus. So make sure you take down that corpus the minute he spawns in. Focus again on Kragen. When the next wave hits, you're going to be focusing on the big bones. Don't take out the other enemies, just the big bones. Once you drop him, you can then continue fighting Kragen. The final wave, you'll be going up against the corrupted Kaisator. I'm not sure, Quisitor, something like that. I'm not sure how you say his name. But anyways, you take him down and that will finish that wave. And then you just have to focus on Kragen. Hopefully you will beat it before that timer because that big giant red beam thing once that reaches a certain distance it ends and you didn't successfully beat the challenge we came pretty close to losing one of the challenges but luckily we never did so once you finally get the diamond you're going to be heading back to Darkseid and you will receive the fiendish eyes now in my previous video i did say that this was the first or i at least i thought this was the first color custom item turns out there's actually several different color custom items that i just had forgotten about had i've never used them before this is the first color custom item i would actually use perhaps i should make a video on color custom items at some point but anyways, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope these tips helped you out. I'd like to thank my YouTube members for all their support and I'd like to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.